Hi everyone, it's me again, Ma'am Sess. So, in this video lesson, pag-uusapan natin paano ba mag-calculate ng molar mass of a given compound. Okay? So, molar mass of a pure substance is the mass in grams of one mole of that substance. So, if we will compute for the molar mass of any element, the molar mass of any element is numerically equal to its atomic mass and has the unit of grams per mole. Okay, so paano ba natin um, makocompute o makakalculate ang molar mass ng isang compound? So first, use the chemical formula to determine the number of atom okay, present in the formula. So alamin natin dun sa given formula kung ilan yung number of each type of atom present in the formula. Okay? Number two, we will multiply the atomic weight or the from the periodic table of each element. So, this is F. So, of each element by the number of atom present in the compound. And then, number three, we will add it all together and the final unit should be in grams per mole. Okay? So, let's have an example. Ayan. So, for example, you will have, you will to calculate the molar mass of water. Okay? So, water has a chemical formula of H2O. Okay? So, in calculating the molar mass, we have given rules, di ba, and guide guidelines. So, number one, alamin muna natin kung ilang bang um, atom ang meron sa given formula. Okay? So, dito, ano bang meron dun sa given formula ng water? Meron tayong hydrogen at meron tayong oxygen. Okay? So, alamin natin ilang number of atoms ang meron sa water. Ilang number of atoms of hydrogen, ilang number of atom of oxygen. So, in this um, given chemical formula, H2O, so meron siyang dalawang hydrogen atom and isang oxygen atom. Okay, so paano ko nasabing dalawa? Ito yan o, dalawa. Tapos, itong O dito sa H2O, isa lang siya. Okay? So, kung, kung mas madaling makompute, gamitin natin itong method na to. So, we have H equals to O is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin niya, may dalawang hydrogen atom. Ito yon Tapos, may isang hydrogen atom. So, ang step number 2 natin, Multiply the atomic weight, so given from the periodic table of each element by the number of atom of the element present in the compound. So, multiply natin tong number of atom natin sa atomic weight. So, yung atomic weight ay maikita sa periodic table. So, the atomic weight of hydrogen, we have... So, multiply natin sa 1.008 and the atomic weight of oxygen is 16.00. Okay? So, multiply lang natin to 2 times 1.008. So, we have 2.016 and then we have 16.0. So, ang third rule natin is add all together. So, get the sum. So, pag in natin yan, we will have 18.0116. And the unit for this is gram per mole. So, don't forget to write the unit after adding all. Ayan. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin lang neto, lagi mong tatandaan na 1 mole of H2O weigh 18.016 grams. Okay? So, sabihin yan, 18.016 grams of H2O, so there is 1 mole per mole. Okay? So, yun yung way kung paano makompute 
ma-calculate yung molar mass ng isang compound. Okay, how about if you have this compound? Okay, sige. Another example. Paano kapag meron kang ganitong example? So, we have sodium carbonate. So, we have sodium carbonate. Okay? So, this is an ionic compound. Diba? So, we have here the metal, the cat cation, and the anion. Okay? So, dito, alamin natin kung ilang number of atom given. So, so Na, we have how many number of atom? Ayan. So, we have... Okay, so we have two sodium atoms. Okay? And then, mapapansin natin dito sa, sa kabilang side, CO3. So, we have ilang CO3? Meron tayong isang CO3 lang. So, we have 1... Ayan, sa isang CO3, we have, okay, meron tayong 1 carbon atom and meron tayong tatlong oxygen atoms. Okay? Next, lista lang natin lahat ng mga given element at saka yung number of atoms nila. Okay? So, we have Na, we have 2, carbon, we have 1, and oxygen, we have 3. Okay? So, after that, get the atomic mass of the, of each element. Diba? Saan makikita? Sa periodic table. So, si, cal si sodium, we have... Okay, 22. So, multiply natin sa 22.99. Si carbon naman, we have 12.01. And oxygen, we have 16. Okay? So, this is 45.98, 12.01, and then we have 48. After that, add natin silang lahat. So, we will have 105.99. So, don't forget the unit gram per mole. So, this is the molar mass of sodium carbonate. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, 1 mole of sodium carbonate weighs 105.99 grams per mole. Okay? So, let's have another example. How about if you have this kind of um, oh, how about if this is the given chemical, if this is the given compound? So, we have calcium chlorate. So, we have calcium chlorate, Ca, ClO3. Okay? So, how are we going to calculate the number of, or how are we going to calculate the molar mass of the given compound? Same procedure. Alamin natin kung ilang number of atoms. Sa given formula, so we have 1, 1 calcium atom, sulat natin, ayan, so we have 1 calcium atom. Okay, so by this time, nakita ka may naroon kang nakitang um, parenthesis, ba? So ilang ClO3 meron tayo, dalawa. Okay, meron tayong dalawa, ClO3 and ClO3. Okay, so dalawa yan eh, may parenthesis, ba? Itong 2 na to, ito ay para dito kay ClO3. So, ibig sabihin niya, may dalawang ClO3. So, hindi to kasamang Ca. Kaya, ayun yung purpose ng parenthesis para ma-distinguish mo na itong 2 na to ay para lang kay ClO3. So, may dalawa siyang ClO3. So, take note that in each ClO3, merong... Okay, isang chlorine and ilang oxygen? Tatlong oxygen. 
Okay, so, sa bawat ClO3 na meron tayo, ClO3, meron tayong isang chlorine at tatlong oxygen. Pero, ilan ang chlorine natin given? Dalawa, di ba? So, therefore, we will multiply it by 2. Okay, so, kung multiply natin by 2 yan, okay, so, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng dalawang chlorine atom. At, okay, anim na oxygen atom. Or simply, ganito lang. So, tignan mo lang itong si Cl, isa, times mo lang dito. Multiply mo lang yan. So, 1, kasi matik yan, 1, diba? 1 times 2, we have 2 here. Tapos, ito, times mo lang din. 3 times 2, we have 6. Okay? O, ayan. So, we can now calculate the molar mass of calcium chlorate. Okay? So, lista lang natin lahat ng given na element. So, we have Ca, tapos yung number of atom niya, we have 1. Okay? So, we have chlorine, ilan siya? Dalawa. We have oxygen, anim. Diba? Okay, this time, we will multiply it to the atomic mass. Okay, so, multiply natin sa atomic mass. Si Ca merong 40.08. Chlorine, we have 35.45. And then, oxygen, we have 16. Okay, so, multiply lang natin 40.08. We have here 70.90 and then 96. So, kung i-add natin yan lahat, we will have 206.98. Don't forget the unit gram per mole. Okay? So, sabihin yan, in 1 mole of calcium chlorate, meron siyang 206.98 grams per mole mole. Okay? So, that is for the calcium chlorate. How about next example? Kung meron kang lead for dichromate. So, CR ay, sorry. So, we have ayan, CR O seven. Oh, ayan, may parenthesis ulit ha. So, ibig sabihin, itong 2 na to ay para dito kay dichromate. Okay? So, kung aalamin natin ang number of atoms nila, so we have, okay, so we have 1 lead atom. Ilang chromate meron? Dalawa. So, each chromate has ilang um, chromium. So, meron kang 2 2 chromium and 7 oxygen, di ba? Pero, you have here the parenthesis. So, we will multiply it by 2. So, 2 times 2, 4. So, you will have 4 chromium atoms and 7 times 2, okay, 14. So, meron kang 14 oxygen atom. Okay? So, kung isasolve natin yan, Sulat lang natin. So, we have PB1, chromium, we have 4, and then oxygen, we have 14. Okay? And then, we will multiply it by their atomic masses. Okay? So, si lead ay meron 207.2, we have 52.00, and we have 16. Okay? So, we have 207.2. 208.00 and 224.00. So, kung i-add natin yan, we have 639.2 grams per mole. So, meaning, 1 mole of lead for dichromate weighs 639.2 grams per mole. Okay? So, ganun lang mag-calculate ng molar mass of a given compound. Okay? So, 
Pwede niyo bang sagutan to? Write the answer sa comment section natin. So, can you calculate the molar mass of the given compound? Ammonium phosphate. So, we have N, H, 4, P, O, 4. So, what is the molar mass of the given compound? Okay. So, thank you for listening. I hope may natutunan kayo. God bless us all.